reluctant on trying to just be intent with uh, what we're trying to do. So um, it helps a lot when our spacing is, we feel good. I think um, we slow down a bit. Yeah, we're able to see, we did. see some stuff, <laughs> you know, so it was nice. It was nice to see that, but um, yeah, we came out and we were just locked in from the start. The crowd? Yeah. yeah I mean, um, you know, I've, I've been very fortunate to be in Seattle where they show up um, when we need them. And so uh, it was nice to have that atmosphere here. Uh, we definitely needed it and, and used it for uh, advantage for sure. But um, our Storm fans always come out and support us. And so we definitely appreciate it. And um, we're, we're, sure we're going to have a lot of games like that. Nick, I'm wondering if you can add to that just because it's it's you're still new to Seattle. Mm -hmm. Add to which, which part uh, of it? Just the atmosphere, the fans, uh, oh. the crowd. I mean, I experienced that my last game of the season here um, in L.A. I keep telling everyone, I was like, I was so confused. I was like, the game was meaningless, but <laughs> it was like this outside. So um, I'm not I'm not new to that type of atmosphere in Seattle. And it was it was a big part of why I was excited to come just because of the the dedication, you know, and the intensity of the people that follow us. And I'm I mean, it was fun playing in front of that crowd today. And then in terms of your performance on the floor, we saw when you first came to the team, you were immediately scoring, immediately rebounding. You returned from injury. You're doing it again. Mm. How, how mm. have you been able to be so successful pretty much immediately? I mean, we knew you were good, obviously. No, I appreciate it. No, um, I mean, you know, my teammates really put, they they really give me confidence. Um, today was one of those days where, you know, I knew I, knew I had to push through some things. And um, I just pride myself on being being efficient, you know, in every way, you know, being aggressive in everything that I do, trying to communicate. And so I just want to continue to do that um, on a very consistent basis. That's that's just the name of my game. We only have time for one question. So, yeah. Jersey, yeah. Bella, thank you. Love you all. But yeah. uh, Joel, you caught a fever tonight and scored a 32 piece. Uh, what just what felt good for you out there? And of course, you reminded us that it's about you guys and not about them. So just how did you come off the jump with such a hot start? Um, Honestly, I, I was actually telling Naka before, like, I just kind of cleared my head. Uh, I was in a good head space uh, coming into today's game. Maybe it was just sleeping in my own bed. Um, hanging out with my dogs and stuff. I'm not going to kind of reset, but um, I just kind of changed my routine a little bit um, and then just kind of caught a rhythm. I don't need too much. And then allowing, you know, my teammates to kind of guide me in certain ways and tell me what they see helps me a lot. But um, yeah, it's never about one player. It's never about, you know, the other team. It's always about us. And I think sometimes we forget about us. I uh, get so locked in on the other scouts and all these things. And uh, we were just kept saying, you know, they got to guard us too. So we can't forget about ourselves and we got to understand who we are and, and let that ride us. Jewel, you uh, talked about slowing things down. It looks like you guys had a season low nine turnovers. Um, obviously in a game where the other team's going to be coming after you as hard as they can, like how do you slow everything down and how are you guys able to accomplish that? Um, you know, we, we have a lot of playmaker, playmakers on this team. So I knew, you know, I've been getting trapped for a while, so allowing the trap to happen, and then that can becomes the point guard. So uh, just being there for each other, right, and knowing, you know, not getting sped up. We've all kind of been – we played a lot of basketball. We've seen a lot of coverages through our years, uh, so nothing's a shock. Uh, so for us to just realize what was going on, analyze it, and then make a quick decision, and that's what we saw in the second half, and we had a lot of good ball movements, some quick uh, layups out of the, the traps, and we were able to execute on that. Jewel, I know you're a seasoned veteran now, but if you can think back to when you were a rookie, you come into the league, you're really celebrated, you guys lose 28 games, you only score, you average 10 points. Like, what do you remember from your rookie year about the adjustment? And what do you think this current crop of rookies, especially Caitlin, who has a lot of attention around her, can learn from someone like you who, you know, was the leading scorer in the league last year? Um. I remember just having fun. Um, honestly, I came into a team where there was a lot of vets. Um, so I really just had to learn. I wasn't trying to put any added pressure on myself and that allowed me to be rook of the year. So everyone's journey is different. Everyone has their own ups and downs. I can't speak for anyone else but myself. Um, but I just let the, the game come to me. But also, you know, I left early because I felt like I was ready. So um, I had confidence in my abilities knowing that I'm supposed to be here and I made a mark for myself and um, like I said, everyone's journey, everyone's journey is different, but I feel like I made the right decision. NECA, um, Sammy played big minutes off the bench and I brought a spark. What'd you see from her tonight? Kind of on the defensive side of the floor, kind of locking it down. 
I mean, you know, it's my first year here. So um, what I'm seeing in, in Sammy has been consistently like pesky defense. You know, I think she really knows how to utilize her strengths, whether it's her speed and um, having a knack for the ball. You know, we see what she can do on offense, but she impacts so much on both ends namely defense because she talks and she's proactive and um, she can guard the floor, not just her player. And we saw a lot of that today and she's fearless. You know, mm -hmm. I think that that that's a part of the mindset. You know, she comes out here every day, you know, not, not feeling as intimidated by anything. And tonight was a big ask, you know, Skylar set the tone and Sammy came in and sustained it as well. Dan, either one you can answer this, but look like the, can you talk about the contribution of all, the team as a whole? There were extra plays that people would do. Jordan Horston, you know, getting loose rebounds, and we'll say Izzy, just that look like you had the dog mentality that, you know what, we need the win. We got to get the win. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, Jordan, she's a youngster, but she wants she wants to do so well. You know, she's really hard on herself. And having someone like her come in and make big plays, Sammy making big plays, even Tori is coming in here and she's making big plays. And that's, you know, that's the, that's the ignition that we need, you know, coming, coming from anybody on the team, but especially coming from the bench, people are just stepping up, you know, and that's something that Noe talks a lot about is like knowing your role and being ready you know, being ready for your moment. And tonight was a really great, it was a really great showing of not just what Jordan can do, but I think over the course of the games, you can also see how like each game she's getting a little bit more focused, you know, and um, for her to be this young and in the game at the time she was in the game today, it is something to take note of. For either one of you guys, Caitlin was able to get going a little bit there in the second half of this game, but what was it about your guys' defensive game plan, maybe Skyler's play on her in the first half that kept her in check as you guys were able to build that lead and kind of get out of the gates quickly and keep her from, from getting going? Honestly, I, regardless who we play, we really rely on our defense, um, pressuring the, the point guards. Um, that's something that Skyler brings, and that's what she wants to do, and we rally behind that. So regardless of who we're playing, that's the pressure that we are going to have every single game. Um, and so that's our game plan is to pressure, use our athleticism. Uh, in times we need to switch, we can. But our, if you look at our roster, I mean, everyone can defend. Everyone can, you know, guard anyone. And we're so versatile. And it helps a lot. So it doesn't matter the opponent. Um, again, it's on us, what we want to do and how we want to dictate teams. we got time for a couple of questions on Zoom. Uh, let's go to Maggie. Maggie, you'll start out, and then we'll go to Willie after that. Go ahead, Maggie. Hey, Jewel, just wanted to ask what it was like to see Nika make her debut tonight and how you saw her handle this past week of waiting for this moment. I think everyone was excited, clearly. Uh, it was so loud when she can't, got in. It was so funny. She was trying to, like, tell us the play, and she we couldn't hear anything. So we are like, what? Um, so I'm sure she felt um, excited, maybe a little overwhelmed as well. But, um, you know, it's always great to have, you know, her back. You know, we, we definitely missed her, and she's been putting in a lot of work, and we're excited to have her be a part of the team. And so um, anytime you have any rookie kind of come in and get their first glimpse of that, and that'd be your first game coming into Seattle, I think that's pretty cool for her. But um, she's she's getting in. She, you know, she brings a different perspective uh, for sure to our team, and um, she's she's been great. So it's, it's really nice to have her. Thank you. Now let's go to Willie, and then Christian, you'll wrap us up. Thank you. NECA, um, I think we spoke a little bit on Media Day about your thoughts on on playing for Noel. Um, you you played against her when she won a championship. Now as a coach, now in the week a week and a half into the season, what have you been most impressed with in sort of her poise and calm and demeanor, but also as obviously now your coach. Um, you know, what's what makes Noe so special as far as the player coach relationship? Um no, he doesn't mess around. Uh, I really do love that. I think being like a transplant in LA, I kind of understand her temperament. She brings a lot of that. She brings a lot of that gangster from LA. And I, you guys may not see it. They don't know. They don't know. But I love it. You know, I love it. You know, and um, I think, you know, on the outside looking in, you can say, okay, you know, she's calm and yeah, she's, you know, she can be soft-spoken, but she doesn't play, she doesn't play games. 
Um, I love having someone who holds us accountable, who encourages us, and who looks like me. Thanks. Thank you. And Christian, wrap us up. Hey, Nekka Skyler. Uh, that was actually a great point oh. that you just said that she looked like. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Not I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, like Willie just said, and you just said that, you know, playing for a coach that looks like you. Coming to this game, you know, seeing a jewel, a lot of the criticism that you guys have been getting for this team, Jewel came in and hit 11 of her first 16 shots, I believe. And I saw you smile on the court. Just You looked really happy just to get back in the groove of things. How did that feel knowing that, reminding your world that who you are? Yeah, no, I mean, it, it feels good. Um, you know, I'm just trying to do my job, honestly. Um, that's what I'm here to do is just to, to get going, to score, mm -hmm. uh, facilitate. I'm actually, it was funny, Jeff was just saying, like, oh, you're practicing your rebounding. I don't know. I've been rebounding pretty well. <laughs> yeah, rebounding. I know. Like, it was like, the bubble on the rim, like, you know, but, um, yeah, no, it's, you know, I was doing some moves early on that I've been trying to do um, for years, and so I had a look to our play development guy because, I it just clicked and I did some of the moves. I looked right at him and that's what I was smiling at because sometimes when you do things on the court, you kind of impress yourself. And that was the moment where I was like, wow, I actually did an actual post move. I've been trying to do that like my whole life. So it's things like that that kind of bring you back of why you play. And you know, for serious, I was like, wow, I look like NECA. I look like NECA out here. This is pretty cool. Calm um, down. Calm yeah, 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 my bad, my bad. That, that's that's going status. You're right. You're like, you're, 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 you're something to that. It's fine. It's cool. I got some years ago. I understand, but it's just nice to get a rhythm. And I think we all saw it today. Like what we can do, and our vision kind of is what this is tonight. Is you know, it's not always going to be pretty wins. It's not always going to be blowouts. Um, but you're gonna have to. You find moments in the game where you kind of go take yourself back, and you're like, this is why we play. Um, and that that was kind of the moment early on in the game. All right, thank you, ladies. Appreciate it. We'll have coaching you. here in just a few minutes. Go ahead and fire away questions. First, you got the mic. Is one or two? two. two. You oh, two. wow. Look at you. Okay. Go. Hey, the coach. I, you know, I won't even tell you what um, tell me. said about you earlier. Tell me. Nope. Say. Not even going to go. I'll save it up. <laughs> tell me. So your, your starting power forward uh, came in here and uh, described you as gangster. Mm -hmm. Like that said that you are gangsta mm -hmm. would you describe yourself as gangsta sure what <laughs> straight up. straight up i'm gonna move to my next question okay hey um uh, uh you know it was also uh with like jules so so she said that you know you, you guys won't always win pretty um mm -hmm. so with this game um how were you guys able to win this game especially at the end when you're what you're up six in the last two and a half minutes and mm -hmm. then things just kind of like really tightened up yeah um i would pay that to um the four games prior uh, that we had some reps in a jump ball execution that we didn't execute in minnesota um, we had some reps um, in a in a reset that we knew we had to execute and, and wasn't, at, you know, as sharp. I get, I'll get them in a different alignment. But there are things that have happened in the past four games that have showed up, showed up in this game. And I felt like there was carryover in, in those execution moments, whether it was a defensive stop or um, trying to get a bucket offensively. We have to be better with our free throws um, down the stretch. But overall, I thought there was a lot of growth. And um, at the end there, What's the update with Skylar? Is she all right? Uh, she didn't play in, in like the final six or seven minutes or so. Uh, the sky is great. Thank you. Um, it was uh, Nick also just talked about how your players know their role now and that it helped defensively in this game. Mm -hmm. And I, I, we're just going to say connectivity. Did that help? And mm -hmm. is this what it looks like? It does. Um, and it's, you know, it was by committee. You know, it started with Sky on on uh, Clark, came in with uh, Sammy. Jordan had a little hit of her. Jordan also played um, Mitchell pretty tough, and it's it it does. It starts with point of attacks. It starts with um, impacting the ball, um, and 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 everyone being connected and on the string. And I think that um, we're not there yet, but I thought that there are great moments in this game where the connected connectivity showed up. Just how important was it? Uh, the game got crazy from 11.3 seconds on 
just for your team to have some composure and pull that out. Yeah, um, this fifth game of the season, and for us to pull out a win like that, I mean, a win is a win. And this league is tough, 12 teams, and everyone on, um, is talented. And, you know, we are, you know, fairly new in these moments as this unit together, not as individuals because we've each been in that unit, but um, in, in that um, environment. Um, but I, I thought there was a lot of poise, a lot of communication down the stretch, and, and, and really, like, tight focus um, an effort to to complete plays. Um, Sammy had a tough assignment out there. Um, she and she filled out the uh, stat sheet. She actually was able to hold Caitlin to zero points in the first quarter. Can you talk a little bit about her yeah, uh, performance? Um, the the first thing that is still on my mind is coming into the fourth quarter and Sammy hitting that three. Um, and that gave us momentum. But prior to that, she was very physical with Clark. Um, she you know, followed the scout to a T. She had a lot of, you know, in between mid-range was poised and on two feet, a lot of tough shots. She got clobbered, um, you know, down the stretch as well. But I thought that um, her poise and her leadership uh, shined through in those moments. Um, and Jewel shot 50% tonight. That's, um, it had been a while since she um, had a 50% game. Um, how dangerous can she be and how dangerous can she make the team when she is uh, being that precise with her shot? Yeah, I'm looking at the 11 rebounds and six assists. Um, so that's showing me <clears throat> that she's committed to rebounding and the activity there. Um, she's, you know, she is able to make reads um, when she is, is in a groove. And, and obviously, if we can live in efficiency, um, taking proper shots on goal and, and get into the free throw line, we're better. Um, Caitlin had uh, 16 points in the last 15 minutes of the game, um, kind of taken over, She's also doing with the passing. This is, I think, what a lot of fans have been waiting for her to see. What did you see as a coach? <laughs> um, she's a, a good player, you know, shot, shot making ability, deep. Um, and, you know, we don't talk enough about her passing, her being six feet, she can see a lot. Um, make a lot of reads, and, and obviously teams are being aggressive on her, and she's still, you know, finding ways to, um, you know, s score, get to the rim, and uh, assist her teammates. Uh, she's confident, you know, she's poised, she's different, she's a beast, you know. We talk about her being a generational talent. Um, she has a lot of talent, and she's going to continue to keep getting better. Conversely, uh, Nalissa Smith in the first half had 12 yeah. points, but you limited her to four in the mm -hmm. second half. What did you like about your defensive adjustments on yeah. her? And, and you know, it's interesting because when um, when you're when they're ball screen heavy um, and we're aggressive, it kind of takes them out of the ability to just um, post up or punch it in um, and play the way that they like to play with Smith. Um, I thought that. You know, her, her having to be in the pocket a little bit more than the post um, is not her comfort. She can do it. She can hit it. But uh, we sped them up a little bit to where she got uncomfortable. And I thought our rotations were on point with her. Speaking of speeding up, um, Jules said that you guys were able to slow things down finally yeah. in this game. You only had nine turnovers, mm -hmm. which is significantly better than previous games. Yeah. Um, obviously, in a game, they're going to try to speed you up. So mm -hmm. what are the keys to slowing everything down? I, um, one thing that we talked about is Indiana's defense, you know, they're young and they're still trying to find their connectivity. So, um, a lot of that was honestly our aggressiveness in reading the basketball game, um, early on, I know there was a, a heavy nail presence and all those things. Once we figured out when we move the ball, um, and we get second and third side, sometimes, um, things are cleaner. So I, I, I'll attribute it to a couple of things. Indiana is still trying to figure out their defense um, and us being patient and getting the ball moving um, to create better looks. Um, about NECA, obviously, when she signed as a free agent, we knew she was going to be good. We know NECA is great, um, but she has been incredible for this team from the very beginning. And then, you know, after not playing a couple of games, coming back from injury again, scores over 20 points, gets a bunch of rebounds. Can you just talk about her consistency and how she's able to continue? always be so effective for this team she's selfless and it's um it's a the dangerously disciplined mo model or however you want to say it came from her 
and who she is. And she's brought that. It's not just a motto. It is a mindset. It is a way of living. And she lives and breeds that. So what you're seeing is a testament to the work. Like she, you know, leads in a, in a selfless way. She goes into the game trying to play her hardest um, and give us her all. And so, um, yeah, like year 13, she's been amazing to start the season because, um, you know, we talked about the space and all those things, but also she's mindful of being a great teammate, like getting to next actions, set, setting a good screen, defensively talking, committed to that. Uh, you know, one of her roles is to be you. And that is everything that she embodies, the leadership, the offense, the defense. And she's living in that. Um, and I think, you know, we, we're we seeing, you know, some greatness from her. And we got to bottle this up and um, continue to, to, to give her her flowers. And then off the court real quick, obviously, franchise record crowd. What did you think of the atmosphere tonight? Amazing. Amazing. I think it's great for the city of Seattle. I think it's great for women's basketball, basketball in general, um, to have an ability to um, put new eyes on the game and, um, you know, generate this magnetic ener energy that's coming from basketball. Um, I love it. I love that I was a part of it and uh, hopefully we can keep it flowing. Um, no, well, first I wondered if you'd like to share with us some details of why you're gangster <laughs> examples. Uh, sure. I, I'm proudly from LA 82nd and Western, to be exact. Um, when I say gangster, it's not, you know, <laughs> a negative thing. It's um, my mindset. Uh, I don't play. I get that from Golden, my mom. She never played. Um, it was always education, do your best, serve the Lord. To me, that's gangster. To, to take care of your business. Um, to be a leader of an organization. Uh, to try to get these women um, to play some of their best basketball, but a site that be the best individuals that they can be does gangsta to me. Um, don't say nothing wrong. The energy you give me, I'm gonna give it right back. If I need a, if you need, if you need some backup in the alley, I got you. But if you need me to pray for you, I got you too. Um, so that's gangsta to me. Just that's what I embody. I wanted to ask you about Jewel to your point about, you know, bringing so many new fans to the game. Um, I've talked to so many people uh, in arenas who have never been to a W game before, mm -hmm. and they are here because mostly because of Caitlin, because of the rookie class. How important is it that they see someone like Jewel, that they fall in love with a player like her? And then one thing she said is that she felt like as a rookie, what she was able to do is have fun. Mm -hmm. And how important do you think that is for pros to be able to find joy when they're playing and how much does that help them? Yeah, you have to find joy because um, sometimes when you're playing for, for money or your job, you kind of lose that joy because it com becomes work. You don't want your work to feel heavy. And so I think, you know, it, it, it is it's difficult. Like basketball is what we do. It is not who we are. But at the end of the day, you know, um, it's, it's our job. We got to show up. Um, but the fact that new fans got to see Jewel, you know, she's been doing this and so for an opportunity uh, for people to you know see her in this light and an amazing atmosphere uh, go off for 30 with the win um, hopefully those fans come back and tell their friends to tell their friends and we continue to grow the game that way we're just about out of time i can take one from zoom roey uh hater go ahead with your question and then we'll wrap up Hi, um, I was just thinking, especially seeing uh, Nika get some of her first minutes tonight. Um, you know, I know it's only a few minutes, but what what did you see out of her on the court? And, you know, how could we expect to see her deployed a little more as she gets into the groove and as the season goes on? Yeah, I threw her, I threw her in the fire. Um, I think she had a, I think that was a third quarter. Um, you know, it's tough to come in a game and at that rate and, and think that, you know, you, you, you're you going to stop the player. But I thought that, you know, she, she had two rebounds, I think. Is my right? Yeah. Yeah, two rebounds in, in two minutes. Um, You know, her physicality, her poise, her confidence. She took an open shot. I thought that was a great look for her. Um, So we will continue to, 
you know, uh, put her in the mix and practice, and she'll have opportunities to show what she can do, again, on the defensive end to start, and then offensively making sure our team is uh, connected and she's um, poised running the point guard position. Coach, we thank you for your time, yeah. and we will see you out here on Saturday.